Sandstone is an unfinished, Jane Austen's unfinished novel, which was attempted to be finished by members of her family and then other people subsequently. Um, so to be honest, you don't really know what it's about. You have a first half of um, a play involving the meetings of two different families from two different areas and about the res resort at Sanderton, which is um, around where the play um, settles itself. And from then on, it's up to the new writers, the writers of now of Chris, and to take that and see how it develops. So really, it's you have the start, which is about um, a chance meeting and people then coming to this place called Sanderton, which is um, a bathing sea resort, which is the, in the boom time of when that might start becoming the thing that the British people, English people particularly, take part in and want to go to these sort of spa resorts and spend money and, and start that kind of tourist trade in that area in the British Isles. But after that, <coughs> it's open to, to speculation. Um, I'm playing two characters. I'm playing Sidney Parker and I'm playing Sir Edward Denham. Um, and Sidney Parker is um, the first of the two characters, the sensible brother of the Parker brothers. And he's, um, he's a good man of the world and he comes in and essentially saves the day from the, the Parker family are in, have to endure quite a, a, a bankruptcy and quite a lot of public scandal, possibly, and he comes in and uses his brain, his intelligence, uh, to stop that happening. And so Edward Denham is a essentially broke, um, but local young man, eligible young man, and he is looking for anyone, any uh, suitable heiress, to add to his financial situation, which is quite dire. And he ends up uh, marrying someone who doesn't have any money at all. He marries for love, which is nice. Because I didn't know anything about Jane Austen before I started to get it, to start to do her plays, and I've read a lot of it now. And I like the fact that it is incredibly um, uh, truthful. It has all of the underlying human emotions. It is about people often say it, she was writing from a lower class perspective, adoring an upper class perspective. And I can see that, but I think that's a bit generic. I think that she really mines your subconscious and why you do things and the battles between people and touches on other parts like the slave trade quite famously in Mansfield Park or um, about um, your status affecting your life. But at a very basic level, she writes people's humans um, struggles with their own choices and being caged into a certain situation very, very well. She writes it as well as anyone I've ever read, the, the, the truth about human experience. So it's a pleasure to do that. I think it's incredibly relevant in that it's a speculation on behalf of a particular person which is then corrupted by finance um, and that is entirely relevant. I mean, the way that Chris, I don't want to spoil it too much for people, but the way that Chris has developed it, it could happen now. People um, setting something up, a family business, and it being brought to ruin by the machinations of a bank, bankers. So it is very, very relevant, and it offers a sort of glimmer of hope in that there is something, possibly, if we unite together, that we can do cooperatively to save everything. Working on Sanson has been very fun. It's been always good to have a crack at something that almost nobody's ever done before. So no one's done Sanderton, so we're doing Sanderton um, with very young, very good, interesting actors and actresses. Um, yeah, it, mainly fun because it's a new one. No one's ever tried properly in this way, so yeah. This is my first time in the Headgate Theatre. I've worked in Colchester a lot, um, but at the Mercury Theatre and now here, and all I can tell you is that it's lovely, it's very pretty, and there's lots of pictures of other people doing great work, it seems, by the pictures. So uh, that's all I can say except come and enjoy it. Because it's a very interesting retelling or imagination of what Austin, where she was possibly going. She might, you have to see what you think about Chris's ending, see if it appeals. I like it as a story arc very much, but I think people should come because it is a genuinely sort of historic event. It's an idea about what one of our great writers, British writers of our time, might have been imagining. So that's worth it, I think.